Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to call your make automations from your GPT actions. So I'm going to start off by creating a simple make automation with just a webhook. Custom webhook. Add a webhook and I'll call this GPT action. And then I'm going to, I'll leave that there. I'm going to go to ChatGPT, create a GPT, go into configure, and we'll call this test make automation. Test and make automation. And I'm going to tell uh, the assistant to start off the conversation by asking the user for their first name and email address. After you have this information, pass it along to the make automation. I'm going to turn off Dolly and code interpreter, leave web browsing. I'm going to create a new action. I'm going to paste this uh, schema in here that uh, I'll provide in the description. Now we have this, we have to put our make automation URL in here. I'm going to go back here and copy this from the webhook that we just created and I'm going to paste it in here. Now this provides a test uh, button but I'm going to go ahead and run this whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and start this so that it's listening. Now I'm going to go back here. I'll save this. And then I'll have a conversation. Now it's asking me for my first name and email address. I'll submit that. It's firing up the action. And now it says, thanks, Chris. Your information has been successfully passed along to the Make Automation. Is there anything else you'd like to do to know or do next? And if you look over here, it actually executed the automation and my information is has been passed along and is stored in the bundle. Well, that's it. That's how to execute a make automation from your GPT action. Now, to help you guys create schemas, I created this GPT that you guys can have access to that will help you generate schemas for your actions. I'll start this one off. I'll provide the link in the description for you. So let's build a schema. Are you ready? Yes. So it wants a title, description, server URL, and server description. Server URL is going to be the one that we have over here. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, go back over here, say server URL is this, server, the server description is just going to be make.
I'm going to use the description for the action summary. Okay, now it should generate the schema here. Well, now it's asking more information for the, oh, it wants the parameter description, so. And then that should be it. You just copy this and paste it into your GPT action when you create that action and you're good to go. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe and uh, check the links in the description and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.